Hi guys, my name is Ioannis Sinifontakis. In this video, we're going to meet Casein, a library for your Kotlin multi-platform or Android native project that provides zero configuration, key value per persistent solution with very strong encryption. Now, Casein uses data store with a custom enterprise grade encryption without any setup on your side and with the option to integrate this functionality directly to compose state. Keysafe can be found at GitHub by following the video's description. The Keysafe library uses Keystore for Android and Keychain for iOS to safely store your encryption keys with enterprise level encryption so you can forget about how to store and how to access your uh, encrypted persisted data and just focus on your actual project code. Today, we will look at a demo to see how the library works and behaves but uh, before that, let's take a look at the uh, GitHub repository documentation for a fast orientation. Okay, let's start with the installation and let me zoom in a bit. Okay, so here, uh, what you need to do is uh, just uh, add this implementation so that you add a case safe to your project. Uh, if you also want to uh, have a mutable state of, uh, usage with um, case safe, you can also add this second line, but if you don't intend to use Compose, it's optional. If you also want to uh, use uh, data classes, uh, you will need to serialize them. So these are just the steps to add serialization to your application in order to pass uh, custom data classes to the case safe. To um, instantiate the case safe, the best way, of course, is by coin. Uh, there are two different ways to do it, uh, one for iOS and one for Android. For Android, at the initialization, you need to pass the context, while for iOS, you just don't need to pass anything when you initialize it. Now, how is it being used? As I said, it's one-liner, just this. Isn't it this magic? And all you need to do is just work with a normal integer value. You increase it, and it gets increased uh, behind the scenes for you uh, in uh, an encrypted storage. How about Compose? If you add, as we mentioned earlier, this line, you can also make use, not just counter by case safe, but counter by case safe dot mutable state of. And now this counter is directly exposed to Jetpack Compose. So that's all you need to do. And that's what uh, uh, functionality this second import uh, allows you to do. Finally, if you want to uh, make use of a custom data class, you just define it, mark it as serializable, and you just make use of it. Just by passing anything that is of that type, that type is assumed and it automatically gets uh, serialized. And that's all. Now let's take a look at our application. So in our application, we start with uh, initializing case safe. For Android, as I mentioned, you just initialize it, passing a context. But for iOS, you just initialize it, okay? Now we have initialized uh, in um, coin our case safe uh, instances. We can just pass it to our view model and make use of it. Now, let's take a look at our example here. So in our example, we have count one, and it is just an old good mutable state of that you all know. Nothing fancy here. Uh, count two, however, is uh, case safe dot mutable state of. That's all you need to change. Pass case safe dot mutable state of. And now it is automatically encrypted and persisted. How about count three? Well, count three is much like count two, but um, here we can pass what key we want this to have, okay? So here we say that count three has uh, as a key the counter three key. While here, because we don't pass anything, the key automatically becomes count two. Also, we can mark that uh, we might don't want to encrypt this, uh, um, this variable, okay? So as you see, if we don't pass anything for encrypted, it automatically uh, encrypts it. 
Otherwise, you can opt out from encryption just by mentioning that uh, your variable should not encrypt. What else? We also have one data class that we um, create here, okay, that supposedly holds uh, some access and refresh tokens and the expiration time. Now, when we create this uh, variable again by case save, again, this is a mutable state of, okay, where we just pass a default value. What if we didn't want to have a um, mutable state of? Well, it would just be something like that. But it wouldn't be directly exposed to uh, compose. So uh, with dot mutable state of, you can expose it to compose. So what happens? What is the scenario of our application? Well, when we press increment, we will add all counters, okay? And just for the authentication info, we will pass plus one to whatever the expires in. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We press increment here. And let's press increment here sometimes as well. Now, let's try to close the application and reopen it. You will notice that for the first counter, everything is uh, reset because it's a normal mutable state of, but everything else is retained. This count two is retained as an encrypted uh, variable, while count three is retained as a non-encrypted data store entry. And then how about uh, data class authentication info? Well, as we said, we are adding plus one to whatever was the expiration. So uh, we just uh, have that in order to see that uh, we can uh, change the contents of everything here from normal variables to data classes. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun.